Can anything derail this rally? Joining me now are Jeff Krumpelman, Chief Investment Strategist and Director of Equities at Mariner Wealth Advisors, and Andreas Garcia Amaya, CEO of Zoe Financial. Um, guys, good afternoon. Jeff, you think probably this continues higher, though we could see a correction? Yeah, I, I think that uh, while as in 19 and 20, we were kind of outrageously bullish and looking for double-digit returns as a base case, here I think returns might be a little more modest but positive. Uh, 6 to 13 percent is kind of the range that we have set for returns for the S&P 500 this year with a fairly bullish uh, backdrop with a decent economy, rising earnings, a very good uh, earnings season so far with good outlook and low interest rates. That's a pretty good cocktail. That said, we had such a, a rally last year, and there are enough wall of worry items out there that we wouldn't be surprised to see a correction even on the order of 10 to 20 percent and some disruption, not unlike the little winter storm we've got going on right now. But <laughs> the definition of a correction versus a bull market top is it's over before you know it. Well, and uh, so steady, steady the course, stay with it is, is what we would say. Well, Andres, what, what really could be a problem here, though, is it if the stimulus doesn't come in as large as investors are hoping? I mean, it's hard to find anybody who thinks that things are headed down for, for a, a long time now, and that, in a way, is its own worry. Yeah, I think uh, predicting human psychology and how people are going to react is, is, is really difficult. Uh, when, when the best way to think about it is, what's the current narrative, right? So the current narrative is, uh, what's the positive? So fiscal stimulus, you know, being 1.9 trillion would be better uh, for the markets. Uh, earnings, which was mentioned earlier, 80% of companies have reported better than expected earnings. That's the best that the data has shown since the data began for, for Faxit uh, well over 15 years ago. Uh, and then there is the rollout of the vaccine, right, which also is looking a little bit better than expected, even just from, uh, from a couple months uh, back. So those are the three things that I think uh, if the story doesn't change there, uh, the narrative doesn't change there, uh, I think it's very hard for the skeptics to win out and the skeptics being, well, look at valuation, right? Mm -hmm. Valuation is very expensive. Shepard Smith here. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube.